Hey, today I'm doing one of my absolute favorite videos to do and that is a try on. I was sent some lip products from Yves Saint Laurent. I love that I'm venturing into some high end products. So let's try them out. So these are the Candy Glaze Lip Gloss Sticks and the Rouge Voluptuous Shine Lipstick Balm. So we're gonna start with the Healthy Glow Plumper and by the sound of it, this shade it's seeming like it's going to be pretty neutral so this is what it looks like and the first thing that i'm noticing with these is that when you crank it up it's i don't know if you guys can hear that that's interesting here we go so and i am applying this on just base the lips no primer no nothing no lip balm I just kind of like exfoliated earlier and that's it so it's coming off first of all it's coming off like butter wow so this really is a gloss and a stick okay interesting all right y'all so it's definitely not giving sticky but it is giving a gloss texture like i thought it was just going to be a lipstick with the shine but it's actually feeling like you can feel the product turn into a gloss as it comes off of the applicator which is interesting it looks pink in the container but it's not on the lips or it has a little bit of a pink sheen i will say it's pretty cute it's just like a simple gloss the texture is really nice really buttery it's not sticky at all but it feels really smooth okay so for the first shade i think that was that was nice that was cute now let's see what the actual colors are given so next we have flashing rose which is truly like a rosy light i wouldn't necessarily call it call it mauve but it's definitely like a rosy type of color Kind of on the warm side but let's see what it gives oh the texture is getting me y'all so this is like a true rosy this type of color is not necessarily my favorite on me but in terms of the texture it's pretty consistent and the color isn't bad this is like just like an everyday color it's kind of close to like my natural bottom lip color um and i think it's pretty darling but what i am gonna do for some of these is try it on with a liner because i'm someone who usually does wear liner anyway so i'm gonna take like a this is like a true dark brown liner and just go in real quick and see if that like makes me feel any different Now that's what I'm talking about. Very cute. I don't know. Is it just me or did the liner kind of like pull it together a little bit? I'm not the biggest fan of pinky toned lips with no liner. I just something about it. It just feels unnatural to me. And I think that's because my natural lips have a slight. The top lip is of course brown and then the bottom has like a slight brown liner. So this is the look i like and i think it's pretty cute so we are at what i have anticipated to be my favorite even though i haven't tried it yet and this is the shade 14 scenic brown i love me a brown lip y'all so this i'm really excited for <clears throat> here we go let's see definitely pigmented very pigmented oh i couldn't tell if it was these were going to be pigmented because the last one was kind of close to my lip color but this is definitely it has a nice payoff um let me even swatch some on my hand just so it shows oh it's giving pigment okay wow 
so what i will say about these y'all is this this is what my note is and even before i swatched it on my hand you have to be careful with them because which maybe i think is why they did that crank thing so that you know not to roll it up too much it's very soft once it touches the lips which i'm assuming is because the lips are a bit warm be very careful because it kind of melts fast or like the product is just like it's really malleable i mean i'm assuming it's because it's like an actual gloss and a stick but if you do get these just be careful with them because you could easily mess up the stick and i'm gonna go in with that same dark brown liner just to see what it gives cute i love this look already i could tell that this is gonna be in my routine and i'm actually gonna reach back here real quick and get this makeup by mario this is like a lighter nude makeup by mario color that i've been loving it looks like this and i'm just gonna try it on in the middle just to see see how this baby layers up oh mm. yeah 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 this is gonna be a new favorite i love this y'all like i've never even heard of gloss on a stick have y'all heard of that i mean i could be late i'm just now getting back into the makeup streets but i'm loving it so far so let's just keep going so the next color we have is showcasing nude this one is reminding me a lot of the flashing rose actually of course it's a little less pink but let's see let's look at them together i mean this one is already eaten off <laughs> but as you can see they're both pretty pinky so okay mm -hmm. automatically i know i compared it to the other one but i like this one much better just because it is a less pinky there's more dialed back. Mm. Now she's cute. She's very cute. And once again, I just want to show y'all what I mean by the product gets eaten off. So please be careful with these. This is like one of those true nudes that I might not really use a liner for. But I have this nudie liner that I don't think is actually going to do anything for it. But... very cute so now we are at shade nine and this is the nude sheer so let's try it out okay I, immediately i'm feeling like out of all of them this one is feeling like just a true balm i'm not seeing much color change on my lips it is called sheer so not surprised but i'm not seeing much color change on my lips and it's feeling very natural very balmy i would compare it to the first shade i tried but the first shade i tried was glossy and then it also had a lighter tint this one is not putting a lighter tint on my lips it's putting a slightly pink tint but not much of anything and then the finish is feeling very balmy not sticky not glossy a true balm so this is the last shade and this is 44 in nude valier so let's go ahead and try it out okay it's giving me like a little lighter tint on my lips it's kind of cute these lighter pinks really remind me of like <laughs> don't kill me y'all mac baby doll era what was that called no what am i calling I'm saying baby doll what Mac Saint Germain isn't that the name of it was that really light baby doll pink I feel like all girls at that time loved it all black girls at that time loved it it was just like the lip oh yeah okay 
Oh. This is really pretty. I think if I was going to go for a no makeup makeup look, this would be the combo I would do. Because since it's not glossy, it's still giving very much so natural lip. But it's also still something there. So, my overall thoughts on these products. I absolutely love the concept of a lip gloss and a stick. I've never heard of it before and I thought it was pretty cool. And they really do feel like butter. Like, the consistency is so nice. Feels great on the lips. Um, my favorite, of course, was the number 14 Scenic Brown. That was my absolute top. I loved that one a lot. And then I think the, the most underwhelming one for me was probably shade 9. And that was the Nude Sheer. I just think that it's too much like a regular balm. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. These do retail for $39.99. Which is pretty typical for high-end lip um, products. Um, but what I will say is that I saw them on sale on the actual Yves Saint Laurent site for $29. So a lot of the shades are $10 off. I don't know if y'all want to take advantage of that, but I would if I were you. And yeah, that was like my least favorite shade. Um, the one that kind of surprised me the most that I do really like is the Healthy Glow number no. 2 shade. At first I was like, what is this? But it's just so cute. Like, it's this one here in... I don't know something about it is really darling I like it it's just a simple gloss but I kind of do like that like whitish pinky sheen that it has and then the texture of course really got me so personally I think that these are great the lip balms the lipstick balm ones are not my go-to's but like I said the um, nude the second one that I tried on I could see myself doing for a no makeup makeup look paired with a liner those are my thoughts on these let me know if you would try them or let me know if y'all already have tried these i might be late to the game um yeah let me know your thoughts and i will see y'all later for another video